Hello everyone, welcome to a sort of battle report for my channel. Um, recently went to Adepticon, um, and I took some pictures, but not enough to make real battle reports out of. Um, if you want to see my explanation for that, uh, my tournament review video for Adepticon would probably cover that. But mostly it was big games uh, with short timers on, on uh, chess clocks, so there was no way to, uh, to do that. So, I'm going to crunch... Uh, my first three games into one video, and then I'll get my second three games into another video. So um, bear with me. Um, it won't be very good coverage, but hopefully it should get the gist of it. Um, so I'll start just showing my list again. Um, I ran a uh, regiment of berserkers with brew of strength, uh, two troops of ironclad, two troops of rangers, uh, two regiments of Iron Guard, both have the two-handed weapon upgrade, and both have Throwing Dogs, or Throwing Mastiffs, I think they're called. Two Hordes of Earth Elementals, one with Blessing of Gods, and one with Chant of Hate. Um, two Iron Belcher Organ Guns, two Greater Earth Elementals, one Army Standard Bear, one Berserker Lord, uh, mounted on a Brock with the ba Blade of Beast Slayer. One Ranger Captain with the Wings of Honey Maze, and two Stone Priests, both with the Bane Chant upgrade. Um, spoilers here, but anyway, um, this is the uh, games I'm going to cover. Uh, these are the games I played, so you know, you'll get to see these results, but um, I played six games, obviously, and we'll go over my first three. So, um, game one, uh, game one, I, I, I uh, rolled up against dwarves, so that's kind of funny, I guess, being dwarves, but anyway. Um, my opponent had a list as follows, a horde of bulwarkers with the fog, a horde of ironclad and a regiment of ironclad, a horde of earth elementals with brew of haste, um, a two regiments of berserker brock riders, one with brew of strength and one with blessing of the gods, uh, one iron belcher cannon, two iron belcher organ guns, a stone priest with bane chant and the fireheart amulet, one warsmith, one king on large beast, two greater earth elementals, and one steel behemoth. So, as I said, I don't have full pictures, so I'll just try to go over this as well as I can. The first scenario was kill. Um, this is probably a little bit after first turn. Yeah, yeah, it would be. So, um, I'm pretty sure my opponent gave me first turn. Which is why you can see, yeah, my ranger captain is up there in an Oregon gun already. So um, nobody, nobody really saw that coming. This whole, this whole tournament, he was, he was beating up war machines all day um, and doing a pretty good job for the most part. Yeah, people, people, e even when I was like, yeah, he's got wings of honey maze and he's got vanguard. And when I charge turn one, they were like, what, do, what do you mean you charge turn one? I'm like, he, he flies, he vanguards. It is what it is. But anyway, so you can see my opponent. He, uh, she has. Um, Steel Behemoth King over there on the right, the the Bulwarkers, Organ Guns, um, and the uh, the Ironclad there. Um, she's, a, she's a little boxed up here on the right, which I kind of take advantage of later. Like, the Elementals are kind of behind there. There's a Regiment of Ironclad way back there. Um, they can't do a lot of stuff. Um, there's another picture. This is a little better picture from, of what I put out. So you can see I'm kind of uh, heavy in the middle. Um... And trying to uh, overload the right with maybe a few more can openers, I guess. Like my my, my Berserker Lord's over there so he can punch up that tank. Um, I've got an organ gun over there. Um, you know, stuff like that. And you can see there's the rest of my opponents. So she has a couple of Berserker Brock Riders over here and a couple of Earth Elementals running around. So, um, not looking good on this side for me but the other side it is looking pretty good so here's a good overview shot so um after my turn one at least and she's starting she's starting to move up so turn one you know it's pretty straightforward you can see some more moving up um things come up i'm a little bit slower so um i'm coming up moving around um i'm playing uh i'm playing a little cheeky over there with my um berserker lord and i got lucky that she uh she tried to uh, surge her elementals into him and um, fell a little short. And um, so he's just going to run around and be, and be an annoyance. Um, and, and if you see this picture, every turn my organ gun is unloading into that steel behemoth. That giant thing is a steel behemoth. So that's also super beneficial to me because that, um, 
the steel behemoth isn't accomplishing anything really and i'm getting three to four wounds off every turn on it so that's pretty sweet um otherwise you can see my opponent way over there on the other side just shoved up everything um as such and then here you can also see the uh, king on a large beast which is one of the things over there i was a little more worried about went straight into my greater earth elemental which is fine with me um he's crushing strength three he's got a lot of nerve king doesn't have that many attacks so i'll take i'll take that all day long um, and way over here you can see where i put my other organ gun in the uh, berserker brock riders come up um i barely fail to kill him i get two rounds of shooting at him i think it was two rounds of shooting maybe it was yeah because they had to come up the hill and then get over it and, and i just barely failed to route him it was close too uh but you know it's kind of the, <laughs> the way my dice rolls with this whole tournament um so just some more pictures of this um punching guys up um and then you can see what i did in my turn um I ended up sandwiching the king um, this turn. I put my Berserker Lord in the back and let my um, Earth Elemental keep smacking him up in the front. So that's great. Um, otherwise, she just keeps moving up a little bit. And, and see, now that the uh, Steel Behemoth has turned and some other things are coming forward. Um, over here is just a little more dancing. Um, my Stone Priest keeps smashing <laughs> into the uh, various organ guns. He doesn't do a very good job in killing them, but he sure does a good job in disrupting them. So that's fine. Um, and then as a uh, as a comedy in the old the whole time, her her um, Warsmith attacks my Stone or my not my Stone Priest, my uh, Ranger Captain every turn and never once does a single point of damage to him. So that was that was pretty silly. Uh, again, just another picture over here. Do, do, do. Um, just some more pictures so you can see we're actually getting stuck in a little bit um, my earth elementals in the middle move up and they'll end up taking out those ironclad um, the king and the large beast is gone um, I'm just putting a few more wounds here and there and things moving things up yep more of that um, on the left flank I'm not you can see here I'm not really doing very well. Um, I'd lost my um, my berserkers didn't stand a frontal charge from the berserker Brock Riders, which you know, me, eh, not not great odds, but they certainly should have stuck around a turn. But anyway, um, they got smacked up, so I just ended up having to reform, and those berserker Brock Riders end up eating my lunch over there pretty bad. Um, this is the last picture, so it's not very comprehensive, but, uh, I end up picking up like the steel behemoth. I end up picking up, um, the organ guns. I end up picking up the, uh, ironclad, um, a lot of stuff like that. So it ends up just being, um, like I said, it ends up being like a 10 point positive in my side, uh, when all is said and done. So the scenario was a tie cause we were playing kill, but I got one more to <laughs> one attrition point and she lost one. So, and, and just some general thoughts for this. I mean, it was it was a pretty straightforward kill. I, I probably could have been a little more a little more aggressive, maybe um, getting getting my one of my greater earth elementals didn't really do anything, and he could have punched some guys up. So I don't know. Otherwise, the ranger captain did exactly what he was what he was supposed to do, and you know I got that steel behemoth picked out and just some other stuff. So just little things, and I caught up. So. Uh, we'll go into game two. <laughs> game two, and and I get dwarves again. So I thought that was that was that was weird. Anyway, so on um, this opponent, she had two hordes of riflemen. Uh, one with the jar of the four winds. One with the brew of keen Um Two hordes of ironclad. Two steel behemoths. Two hordes of earth elementals. Um, Berserker Brock Rider Regiment, Berserker Lord Mounted uh, Stone Priest, and two Army Standard Bearers. I don't have this person's list, so I'm going up memory, but I'm pretty sure this is what it was. Um, so if we go in here, you can see we're playing loot, and there are the three loot markers. So um, my opponent has... Th this was a huge advantage to me. She Both of those hordes underneath her tape measure and beside her there are the are the rifleman hordes um they were not terribly well deployed 
given what we were doing and I, and I took real advantage of that. Um, yeah, cause they were, they were really boxed in and they, and that hill is, um, height one, all the hills in this tournament were height one. So everything was going to get cover if it was even in range and if it was even visible. So, um, you can see I, I flew my ranger captain up there in the middle intending to smack him into a horde of guns, but she, how she ended up moving him, I, I just stopped, stopped worrying about him. So he was going to go do other stuff. <laughs> Um, you can see she put her earth elementals in the middle across from my earth elementals, and that's fine. She has a steel behemoth behind one of her earth elementals there. Um, over here, she has her other steel behemoth, her berserker brock riders. There's a berserker lord back there, and then two whores of ironclad filling out the side. Um, for me, you can see I put earth elementals, earth elementals in the middle. Um, my berserker lord is in the middle looking to go take out one of those. Or at least not take up. I'll go and go and get it, smack up one of those steel behemoths. Uh, Rangers in the woods, because why not? Um, and over to the side, I've got my Greater Earth Elementals, um, a regiment of, of berserkers, and my two organ guns. Um, over here, I was I was fully intending to just shove my Earth Elementals out front, <laughs> um, and just not let them get a piece of my organ guns. Well, the organ guns could probably pick off a horde on the way over. So th that's just my general thought. Um, I don't need anything on this side either since all the tokens are on the other side. So this was either that, or I would send one of my, I could send my earth elementals back over to the middle. Um, all the same. So, um, turn one, I think my opponent takes turn one. Yeah, she does. Um, and just moves up a little bit. Mm, this is, Maybe, yeah, anyway. So we're just moving up. Um, she moves up, she surges up, I move up, um, I fly over. Um, I'm not really engaging anything at this point. You can see all my doors on the left have just barely moved. Um, I know I know I've got that left token, um, and there's no need for me to go up fast to it. I mean, I have, I have four units there who can pick it up, so... It's, She's not gonna. She's not gonna kill all of them, especially if I just sit and wait before I engage. Um, and then in the middle, I'm just holding back a little bit too. Um, I've got the ranged advantage with my rangers and my organ guns and all of that stuff. I'm not. I'm not that concerned about getting out there first. You can see though, she she is. So she pushes up there, and on the right, she also pushes up quite a bit. Um, you know, that's that's a thing. So. Um, I am um, really open up. I open up pretty good with my organ guns, um, picking off on these uh, berserker Brock riders over here pretty well. Um, so as we carry on, um, she slides over, picks up a token. Um, her 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 hordes back there just keep kind of pivoting a little bit and getting into better shooting position, which they're getting into. But now they've lost like two turns of shooting. Um. Yeah, and over here, not much. She's actually kind of timid on this flank um, that, that she definitely has me overwhelmed on, so I take pretty good advantage of that and don't move. Um, I actually think I moved my Berserkers back at one point um, just to get him out of charge range. Um, so as game moves on, um, I double charge into her Middle Earth Elementals because they picked up a token, so I said, well, I better go smack those guys up. Um, it's also kind of blocking up her steel behemoth from getting anywhere because it's too close to that house. So I'm fine with that. Um, I get a little more moving up to the token on the left here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, over here, I've, I've done a ton of damage to these berserk Brock riders, um, which is not surprising with the organ guns. They're just going to melt them. Um, and over here, you can see the iron clatter moving up a little bit. Not not too much, but I'm getting that earth elemental over there ready to uh, to interdict to um, save the organ guns. Um, so you can see here, this is kind of after what that would look like. Um, the organ guns took out the berserker Brock riders. Uh, the berserker lord charged into my berserkers. Um... And over here too, I honestly think she kind of forgot to move these ironclad. I wasn't really sure. This this is kind of as close as they get. So, I mean, it wasn't like a super serious game, and we were just kind of having fun at this point because it was 
it was kind of getting obvious pretty fast that I was going to win. And I mean, I wasn't pushing anything. You're like, let's get this done. I want to get as many points. Spot. I mean, it was just, it's just what it was. So in, 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 in theme of that, um, my, I ended up taking out the right, um, uh, horde of earth elementals. Um, we do, I, I end up double charging her left horde of her left horde of earth elementals. They survive on uh, the next turn. The, the, the steel behemoth and horde earth elemental horde charge one of my earth elemental hordes, but they don't break them. Um, this I don't think so. And on the other side, you can see here, I'm moving up to pick up the token. Um, Yep, it's about that. And you can see over here, it was, I was probably a little too, um, a little too ambitious picking up that token <laughs> um, with those other guys because I, I still have this last unit and they can just walk up there and get it on the last turn. But I probably didn't need to be quite so aggressive with those other guys. Um, in the middle, okay, yeah, it looks like looks like she did take out one of my Earth Elemental hordes, um, but I end up cleaning up everything else in the middle. Um, and you can see over here, I end up cleaning everything else up on the right. So I've picked up all the, I've picked up um, two tokens. I didn't even go for the last one because I didn't need to lose the attrition points. Um, and it's a, yeah. Yeah, so thoughts, I mean, it's, it was a solid win. Um, I won the scenario, I won the attrition. Um, it was a little more of a relaxed game than my, my previous one. Like, we didn't even use a chess clock because um, my opponent didn't care. And I was like, I don't really want to use one. And um, it was even beneficial to the point. She's like, hey, I need to use the bathroom. And I was like, yeah, go use the bathroom. Why, why wouldn't you use the, the bathroom? But anyway, um, I think just some of the scenario and, and the terrain really favored me a lot. Yeah, it was fine. Um, game three. Um, game three, I found myself up against a Baranger unit. Uh, regiment or army here. Um, this is actually the guy who also took second place. Um, so I'll go over it. He had two hordes of ogre boomers. Uh, one ogre standard bearer. I think he had like the war bow of Kaba or something. I don't. I don't have this person's list either. Two hordes of fallen. One regiment of fallen. Two troops of thunder wolves. Uh, one regiment of mounted sons of Korgon. I think he had the caterpillar item on him. Um, he had the living legend Her Herja the Fallen. Um, if you don't know what she does, she flies and is very annoying. Um, he had a king on a chimera. I said king of chimera, but that is king on chimera with the regen amulet. And then a chieftain with wings of honey maze. So, um, not a lot of drops, but um, a lot of drops to be respected, you could say. So, um kind of deploys like this I'm um, that really really tall thing is his king on a chimera um, so he had some mounted his mounted sons there in the middle in front of the chimera otherwise he has a horde of fallen on the right uh, dogs in front of the horde of fallen um, his boomer hordes are in the middle there dogs in front of him um, yeah, and then uh, the the fallen regiment in front of those guys and then way over here is this chieftain oh you can see um herja there in the middle, and then his other horde of fallen, um, and it really took some. Um, well, I, I respect the fallen plenty. Um, I I didn't I didn't I knew they were fast, but I also didn't realize they were also nimble and pathfinder. So that was a that was a thing to find out. Um, just probably read that a little better, but anyway. Um, so we had a few minutes. So I actually took like kind of took pictures of my deployment. So um, on the left, I. I tried to I tried to deploy heavy in the middle because we are playing dominate. Um, so I stuck the organ guns right in the middle, um, which is probably not helpful for them. But he's got some he's got a lot of flyers and stuff that yeah. Anyway, um, rangers on the left, you know, earth elementals kind of holding it up, and then it just switches over to being dwarves. Um, yeah, and more dwarves. I'm um, trying to kind of you know hang myself on this wall. <laughs> I had no idea how fast those fallen were and they were just going to come around the wall. So, you know, but that's kind of how we looked lined up. Ready to go. 
Uh, so turn one, I think he takes turn one. Or maybe I took turn one. I don't remember. Anyway, this is probably after turn one. Um, the dragon flew way up and over. Um, his wolves just kind of moved up the wall. People are moving around. Um, Boomer's climbing up on the hill. Yep. Um, my my organ guns shot his dogs in, in super. It's, it's either they super whiffed or I rolled double ones. It was it was really bad. Like this this game this game is like the epitome for me of, of bad dice. Um, so that'll be a that'll be just a general theme. Um, the other thing to take note in this picture is um, my berserker lord there at the bottom was double charged by Herja and the chieftain. Um, which I was like, well, that's that's probably fine because you know what well, that that's gonna happen. And I was actually kind of looking that I could I might be able to actually pivot my greater earth elemental or get someone back in there surged into there I'm like this might not be that bad um but he ended up doing something like like eight like seven or seven points of damage or eight points of damage and i'm like all right you got to roll 10 plus twice and you got him and, and you know what happened he, he rolled he rolled 10 plus twice um so this this is this is right here about me not me not respecting how fast these guys are um i'm not prepared for this really at all and he's already in my flank um so yeah respect respect the fallen they're really really fast yep so there's that um yep, over here he's just uh, kind of cautiously moving up he's got a lot of speed he's got a lot of flyers so he doesn't need to commit anytime he doesn't feel like it um down here, he put his cores uh, fallen into my greater earth elemental, which oh, that was fine, and then his dogs into my rangers. And that's fine. Um, I don't think either of those break. Um, so over here, my turn. Um, well, I okay. This is kind of skipping over my turn. I had turned the berserkers to face the fallen because someone was gonna have to take a charge from him, and I thought, hey. Okay, Berserkers can do it. So this is him um, double charging my Berserkers with Herja and the Fallen. Um, his Berserker, his uh, Fallen charging my Ironclad up there. Um, my Iron Guard kind of moving around, and I should have been more aggressive with my Iron Guard. Like pushing him up into the middle to beat up those um, Boomers, but I didn't, I didn't really have any faith in my um, Berserkers surviving this. So they're kind of turned around. Uh, over here, his knights go um, smashing into my earth elementals, I think. Yeah, I think his dragon came in the flank. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, because we, we had cleaned up the fallen horde over here. Um, and the dogs and the, the rangers were just kind of slapping each other around. Um. This gets a little later into here. Um, he took out my Earth Elemental Horde, so my other Earth Elementals go into his his um, knights. Um, his chieftain there starts picking on my my Stone Priest, but he's not that he's not that wimpy. Um, my Stone Priest and my Ranger Captain fail to kill dogs, and it's about that. Um, oh, what I'm doing over here though is I think my Rangers are smacking up his flyer. I don't I don't remember. Right at this point, I do get a good surgeon later, but um, over here, um, his fallen who were coming around my flank actually bounced. Well, they didn't bounce. They did, you know, quite a bit of damage between the fallen and, and Herja. They did like thirteen or twelve points of damage, whatever that says. Um, but my but my berserkers held, um, and my berserkers attacked back against the fallen and actually wavered them. So he's just backing up. Um, my iron guard there um charged herja and actually wavered her so she's also just getting out of line of sight um just trying to get away which is pretty good for me um and up there i think i actually wavered those fallen so like it was a it was a pretty reasonable turn over here all things considered yeah yep um just that what i was saying over here 
people people screwing around people screwing around um Yeah, so down down here I actually get that fallen horde. So I've gotten I've gotten all of the fallen off the board, uh, which I was pretty pretty happy about. Um, the problem is those um those berserkers are not not long for this world, and he usually shoots them out. Which is you know they don't have any armor or anything. Um, here is when I actually get a really good surge. I get a surge flank of my greater earth elemental into his um. King and a Chimera. Um, I just... And I do pretty good. And I get him up to pretty good damage. But I just roll like crap. So... He's regen in the whole game. So he, he's just... He's shrugging it off. But I but I almost got him. And it was really close. It was just such a bummer. Um, over here, we start moving into further turns. Um, He starts just cleaning my stuff up in the middle. Um, those boomers take out all my stuff pretty easily. Um, my greater earth elementals can't take out the boomers. Uh, everyone just trying to run into the middle. Oh, I'm not really accomplishing much. And in the end, like I have like nothing left in the middle. Um, I think a greater earth elemental survives this game in, in like a stone priest. Um, and I actually think my, my ranger captain survived too, but yeah. Yeah, it was it was just a it was kind of a rough game. Um It was it was fine. It was just it was just one of those games too where like your your opponent can't fail a nerve roll against you and you can't make one against him. So it was just I don't know. It was just a little little depressing. Um I probably could have played a little bit of a tighter game. I certainly could have been more aggressive to get those boomers out of the way. I didn't do that as hard as I should have. I should have, I should have just been shoving up the middle as hard as I could, um, to pick them up because letting them sit there and shoot at me is not helpful. Um, but anyway, it was yeah, it was a pretty big loss. Um, that guy did go out to do really good. It was um, it's one of my my themes when I started running into more flyers in this tournament and not really having much of an answer to flyers especially on scenarios like dominate or invade where they could just fly in and score when i have to walk all the way across the board you know it's just kind of rough but anyway um thanks for watching guys i'll try to get a couple more of these i know they're not great as far as like battle reports go but um i'll get the last three out maybe a couple days from now all right bye